One thing I would love before you get started on this video is click the link below. It would, would, would really support this channel uh, in making sure that we can continue to do reviews like this. Um, if you want to order this machine, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, thank you and check out the review. All right, team. So uh, we are going to do an unboxing review on the Cafe Bellissimo semi-automatic espresso machine. So think about this story. Uh, we own about $100,000 in espresso uh, equipment uh, through our uh, events business. And we own everything from your traditional espresso machines that you have to uh, tamp and, and uh, grind the beans. We own uh, super automatic bun machines that cost $18,000. And this machine uh, we picked up for 700 bucks. Uh, we are doing a kitchen remodel. And the thing about it is, is we're going with kind of a bronze look, bronze refrigerator, bronze stove. We've got the uh, microwave, uh, bronze faucet, bronze sink. And then soon we've ordered it five months ago. We'll have the bronze cafe style stove. So this uh, really kind of fit the decor. Um, we love espresso. We love um, having our lattes every morning. And traditionally <clears throat> I was using this guy which is the Nest Cafe uh, Delangi? I forget what it's called. Delangi unit that uses these little these little uh, espresso pods. Does a pretty decent job. You put the pods in. Uh, you can choose basically the size of the unit. It'll uh, has a frother, so it'll steam. Uh, it'll do hot water. It'll steam milk. And this unit uh, has done actually really well. We'll probably put this in our fifth wheel. But we want more control. We want more control to, uh, to make coffees, to make uh, uh, chai teas, to make uh, different artisan drinks that we want. And so we're going to give you an honest review. A lot of the videos uh, that are out there on the internet on this suck. So uh, it shows you about the steam one and stuff. So we're going to give you an honest review from a true espresso, espresso experience. And uh, here we go, unboxing. All right, so normally I take a box cutter here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the box off. <laughs> manual, looks like a instruction manual, which is pretty cool. So there's the instruction manual, I'll set that right there. Uh, this is the porta filter. Now this, uh, this porta filter has a lot of weight to it. I mean, that thing, it's not cheap uh, in any way. Um, you can see here, it has the tamp. So if I move this, it has the little tamp guard here. So you can really put some pressure on the edge of the counter. Um, one of the things about these porta filters is with, <clears throat> without this little plastic thing here, when, you're, when you put it down on the counter, uh, you're actually gonna indent the counter. So that's actually a really cool feature. Um, none of our commercial grade machines um, have a porta filter like that. So pretty cool. Um, so, so far we're liking that. We've got our tamper. So there's your tamper. Now this thing too, it's got some serious weight to it. This isn't uh, a chintzy tamper. You've got uh, another, looks like another basket here for the porta filter. I mean, look at that. This, uh, this looks like it's uh, completely solid. So uh, this is uh, usually, it looks like what they use to clean the unit. You put a little pure cath in this and it backflows and it makes sure it gets all the oil and stuff off the unit. Again, it's very, very heavy duty. So that's cool. We've got, uh, again, some more baskets for a single shot. So this one again is for if you just want to do a single shot of espresso, so you've got the single shot and you've got the double shot so you can see the difference. And this obviously you can take that off and uh, replace it. And then single shot just like that. So pretty cool. I like the double shot though, just like that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so something interesting about this unit is it really feels like it's solid. I mean, there's some solid weight to this. A lot of the units that we've seen in, uh, in stores like Bed Bath & Beyond and you can go to uh, Williams Sonoma, Sonoma um, there's not a lot of weight to them. You can feel that they're kind of, they're not put together. It doesn't feel 
um, like they're solid. This machine feels very solid. Got a little box here. This must be the espresso basket. Yeah, there you go, the little espresso basket. And uh, from looking at the reviews, this little guy will control the quality of the grounds. So you can see that right there. It'll actually, these looks like little blades right here. It'll control the quality and how fine the grounds are on the unit. So see this guy here. And again, I haven't looked at any manuals yet, but so this is our steam pot. Oh, look at this. Holy moly. Now, so this is our steam pot here. This, uh, you know, it's solid steel, but the one thing I will say about this is it's really tiny. Uh, this is probably uh, maybe uh, two cups, uh, but you, you should be able to get a solid drink out of that. We'll go ahead and measure that a little bit to see how much it gets. And this is, uh, these are the cleaning tablets. So these are usually uh, the cleaning tablets to put in and clean the machine. And then this guy, uh, it looks like this is a water test strip indicator to test the hardness of the water. So that's good and we'll, we'll come back to that in a little bit. Okay. Break into this guy here. All right. Because everything you want in an espresso machine, you spend this type of money, you're spending, you know, if you think of it, Espresso machines, they can come run you in the thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So, you know, we, the most we've ever spent on an espresso machine for commercial use was uh, $18,000, which is a super automatic. It's called an E6MU. But we're not doing thousands of cups of espresso. We just want to have our morning routine. So this so far feels just really, really um, solid. Make sure that's going. Go ahead and just got your little drain pan there. So I've got the drain pan right there. You can see cafe, cool. And looks like this is our drain pan. So again, I haven't really got your backflow. So this guy here looks like it's for the, the backflow uh, for the espresso machine. And you've got some other cleaning equipment, tools, and things that go in the back. So put that back. Whoops. And again, um, I haven't, uh, haven't done any uh, instruction manuals. I haven't read anything. I'm just simply putting this together based on uh, experience. And I can see this guy is gonna go, yep. So when you put the, the basket on, there's really only one way to put it on. And so that's just like that. So really neat, okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set this up, we'll get it plugged in and we'll fire it up. We'll fire it up. We'll go ahead and do some, uh, some test runs on it. So here we go. Okay, so a couple things here, uh, one, you really want to follow the basic instruction manual that, that comes with the unit, which is a, one of these guys. Uh, the it basically will go over. Actually, it's right here. It'll go over some of the details on it. And so what we're going to do is uh, the we're going to fill it up with water. We're going to run a few tests on it. Uh, the one thing I will say is the water tank is pretty massive. Um, you couldn't really get an idea on that from the uh, videos online, but the water tank is, is pretty solid when it comes to uh, home use. Um, we're gonna be using some Glory Cloud Espresso Rose Coffee. Uh, Glory Cloud is a local brew, uh, local roastery in uh, Reno, Nevada. Actually, they're, they're uh, in Sparks, just, just outside of Reno. Owner is a guy by the name of Scott Coleman. He's a great guy. He makes 
awesome, awesome espresso and artisan coffees. Uh, pretty much uh, we'll uh, roast whatever we need um, him to do. And so we're gonna put this in here, which will be a premium bean. And uh, we're gonna put it in the hopper and see what we, see what it does. All right, so what I did was I removed the entire water canister from the unit. And you can actually take it and bring it over to the sink and fill it up. So I went ahead and did that uh, just for simplicity's sakes. Uh, you, do, you really don't need to do that. It just slides in there. Uh, so you don't need to do that. Probably have to remove this guy. There's a little plug on the bottom here. It tells you to make sure you remove it. Uh, and uh, for aesthetics there, I'll probably take that off. I probably should just heat it because I already removed it. And we'll go ahead and fire this baby on. So, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna fire this baby on. We're gonna go through a couple things. Uh, the first one here is the uh, is putting this little guy on. You can see this is your bean basket. Uh, there's a little, you can see here, there's a little knob. You can see that little notch right there. You know me, there you can see it right there a little bit better. So that notch is gonna go with a little red, you can see the little red uh, deal here. We're gonna put that in and then you put it in and then you're gonna turn it. So you turn it and what's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is this is what, I don't know if you can see the numbers, if you can see the numbers here. Let me see if I can get a good uh, shot. Yeah, you can, see, you can barely see there's little numbers when you turn it. Well, that determines the grind quality, uh, the fineness of the bean. So we're gonna put this on eight. So this is lined up with the eight. You really can't see it. There's five and 10. So we're gonna put that on about eight. And we're gonna go ahead and put in our beans. Put some of those in there, just like that. Just love the smell of fresh coffee, just like that. All right, put that on, throw the lid on it, nice. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and make sure this is on neutral. So you have your hot water and you have your steam. We're gonna make sure it is on neutral. So it's on neutral, we're gonna hit the power button and we're just gonna wait until it is ready. Now, the other thing about this unit is it is Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, we'll show you about this uh, feature here in a second. All of our cafe appliances are Wi-Fi enabled, which is fantastic. So the microwave, it tells us when things are done, how long to cook. There's all sorts of different things you can program and we will uh, be enabling this and we'll go over some of those features here in a second. Uh, so now we're just going to wait for it to be ready to uh, steam up. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, all of these cafe uh, appliances, all of them, whether it's the refrigerator, we don't have the stove yet, but the, the dishwasher, the microwaves, every single one of the cafe style appliances are Wi-Fi enabled. Uh, this uh, unit is at no exception whatsoever. Um, so to connect it to Wi-Fi, uh, there is actually a code in the back here, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little, there's a little QR code you can see right there. And so, um, what you're gonna do is you scan that QR code, and you're gonna download. Uh, I th uh, it's called the Smart HQ app, and uh, we'll go through some of the features on it right here. But if I hold these two buttons down for now, so hold those down, you can see the Wi-Fi is enabled, and we'll go ahead and configure it to the. Um, to the okay, just to run uh, through a few procedures. So one, this machine has been on for about 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, uh, if I turn the steam function on, and we're gonna give it a, give it a second here to, to kick on a little bit. And so you can see steam, you can hear a little noise. You can see the steam's coming out. So that was uh, after about 10 minutes. That's not bad. Uh, you know, a traditional espresso machine that we uh, run commercially, a single phase uh, 30 amp machine um, can sometimes take 25 minutes to 30 minutes to uh, heat the water. So this um, actually did a really good job. I mean, 10 minutes to, to heat it up is, uh, is really good. Um, if we take the tamper, I'm gonna go ahead here and just put the, oh, excuse me, the portafilter in the machine here. 
and I'm gonna and I'm gonna go ahead and just do hot water. You can see here it's shooting out a little steam. The instruction manual said that it would do that initially. Oh, I see. So, okay, one, one thing <laughs> earlier, I, I turned this knob to hot water and I expected the hot water would come out of the porta filter. Uh, if you want hot water for tea, uh, you're gonna use the hot water feature right here and that's just gonna dispense hot water into the uh, whatever cup, if you wanted a coffee cup or something, if you wanted to do a hot tea or possibly do an Americano. So that's something uh, just to, to be aware of. So on this one here, I'm just gonna test doing a single shot. There's no uh, espresso in this. I'm really just running through a shot to see. And it's just spot on right there. Very nice, just a little bit of water. Okay, so if I take my porta filter here and I stick it in to the basket, it's really difficult to hold. So I'm gonna put the, put the camera down and mount it so I can show you how this is done. Okay, so the porta filter, we're gonna put it in and for a double grind, you hit it twice really quick here. So I'm gonna put this down here, kind of put it up here and then I'll hit the grind button twice. You can see grinding. Just like that, beautiful. And you got your grounds. Actually does a really, really good job. Let me put you some in some light here. You can see it does a really good job with the the grinds. And what I'll do, I'll kinda put this down here. You can see the little ledge that it has, has this little notch here. And so I'll take this guy and see that there. And then we'll just take this. We're just gonna do about 30 pounds of pressure. Just 30 pounds of pressure, just like that. And just a little more. All right, just very nice. Cool. And now we'll take this, put that into the and normally I, I have my shot glasses, but I forgot them at the store. So I'm just gonna dispense it right in here. We're gonna do a double shot. We're gonna see how the quality of that comes out. And look at that, that is just an awesome shot. You can see the creamy look that's coming out of it. Wow. Very nice. Now, through the app, you can control the amount of water that's coming through this unit. So you can actually go to the Smart HQ app and control and program this unit on how many ounces of uh, water. I believe for a double shot, it does uh, about five ounces of water. So that is just spot on. All right. Put the steam in there, you can see it. So now I don't have a thermometer. Now I'm using 2% on this. I can use whole milk, whatever I want. And I can, which, what I do when you don't have a thermometer, I'm just gonna hold it to where you could barely touch it. You can see I'm kind of holding the whole thing on the milk. And that's about good. I mean, that, ow, that is really super hot. Go ahead and clean that off. And then what we'll do, I've got my coffee here. I just did this a little separate, but these are my little shots. I kind of put them in separately. And you can see, if you can see the, oops. You can see the foam on that. Just really nice. So, awesome. And that's it, right there. So it's gonna give you, there's the family 
It's going to give you uh, about one, you know, I would say that's probably about a 12 ounce cup. So the, the steam pot, if you froth enough milk, you could probably do a 14 to 16 ounce latte with this. So definitely not for large drinks on the, um, with the current steam pot the way that it is. However, if you had a larger cup, I would assume that you could just put the larger cup, uh, like a larger disposable cup, you know, like one of these guys right here, if you wanted to stick that underneath, uh, stick this guy underneath here and, um, and put that and steam your milk directly into one of these guys, um, you could do that while at the same time doing a, a extra shot. So um, in terms of an overall review on this unit, I absolutely love this unit. Um, I, for a, for a home machine, um, for somebody that wants to save, you know, if you figure you're spending $14 a day uh, with you and a, and a spouse at a Starbucks or a human being or uh, a Dutch Brothers, uh, even if it's $10 a day times 30 days, that's $300 a month. That's $3,600 a year that you could be saving um, by making your own um, artisan espresso how you want. Um, if this cup gets a little cold, um, you can go over here and you can re-steam it uh, and heat it up or put it in the microwave or however you want to do it. But from a professional standpoint, I would recommend this machine to just about anybody. The Wi-Fi functionality on it is, is awesome because you can control just about every single aspect of this machine remotely. Um, highly recommended. I would uh, love your comments below. And you can also order this ma machine by clicking on my link, uh, the link below. It'll help me support some of these videos and uh, would very much appreciate. Hit the like button and the notification bell. Thank you. Hey, I just got done doing an awesome review on the Cafe Espresso Machine, the Barissimo. Uh, 